What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Adventure Dave. It's been a while, but we got something new. So, scenery might be a little bit different and this room might be a little bit echoey. We're in a different accommodation at the minute, but we're not talking about that today. We're talking about this bag right here. So, this bag right here is a Phil and Ted's travel bassinet cot kind of thing for Junior. Junior sleeps in this every night and when we put it out for naps during the day, where we are, it's perfect for us because we're still moving around. This has been a lifesaver. We were going to use it while we were traveling, but unfortunately with all this happening at the minute, we sort of just use it as Junior's sort of sleeping arrangement at the minute. So this bag does come with everything you need. It comes with a self-inflating mattress, the sides, the legs, everything to set it up. It's pretty easy to set up. What we're gonna to do today for you is to set it up and give you a review. So enjoy me setting it up. Yeah. So straight out of the bag, we've got the main piece. There is a self-inflating mattress, which I'm kneeling on it. I mean, I didn't really want to roll it up. And then we've got four legs, four pieces that turn to the sides, and Junior's helping me out by holding these end pieces for me. So pretty much we just start off by locking these side pieces together. Throwing them in. So they just slide together, they just sort of click together. We'll grab the other piece that Junior's not holding for us. These end pieces are pretty much one piece, they just slot straight in again. So slot straight in. On this end piece right here, there's a zip that you zip the ends in on. So, I'm just do the same on the other side with piece Junior's holding for me. So, play with that leg. Hey, okay. play with the leg. Do it again. So I just slot those pieces in, zip up the end piece. And then there's our top done, and the legs just go straight on the sides. Yeah. So one leg. Whoop. You want to hold that for me? Yeah. Two leg. So that took me all of maybe 30 seconds. It's got a zip across the front here, zips down the sides. So this whole front part comes off. It made it really easy for when we were trying to put Junior in and out when she wasn't moving so much. We didn't really have to come over the top. But now she is moving. We keep these sides zipped up. What it also does have on the bottom corners. Yes, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's got like a little tab which slides into the feet and pretty much just holds the bottom stretched out for you. So it all comes in this bag. It weighs I think just over three kilos so you can take it on the plane in checking with you. 
Uh, it probably will fit in the suitcase that we were going to take. I actually think it does fit the suitcase we were going to take with us. And that was just a standard size suitcase. The inflatable mattress is pretty standard. It is really, really thin, but Junior hasn't really complained about it so far. I think she's pretty happy sleeping on the floor. Where we set it up is in the spare room. So that was pretty much everything to do with this Phil and Ted's travel bassinet. It's really lightweight, really easy to put together, really, really simple to put together. Self-inflating mattress on the bottom. It does advise you not to put any other mattress underneath or on top of it, just because of the choking hazard. We haven't tried it. We've been fine with just plain self-inflating mats. We, now that Junior's moving around, we keep these sides zipped up. So it does have a zip down the side and a zip along the front, which a few of these other travel bassinets it didn't have and we found that we were sort of wanting something a little bit easier if it was a tight confines area to put Junior in and out say Junior was having a hard time we could just sit on the floor unzip the side take her out put her back in we didn't have to lean over the top to get her in and out and it has been amazing but that is pretty much Junior's sleeping arrangement for the minute. It is the Phil and Ted's travel bassinet travel crib. It is the Phil and Ted's travel crib. Comes in a super simple travel bag with a shoulder strap. And that's pretty much about it. So really can't complain about this at all. It is super simple to set up, super easy to set up, super easy to fold down, and it's worked for us great. Uh, we've been moving around quite a bit, so pretty much everywhere we've been, we've been able to put this up, put it down, put it back in the suitcase with all our stuff, and away we go. There's been none of this trying to carry something really heavy around or really big. Off the top of my head, it is just over 3.2 kilos. So, yeah. So that is a Junior's sleeping arrangement for the minute until we head back home. But for us, it works. Till next time. Thanks, guys.